Hey there, this is Atul from Team K Tuning Academy, and in this video, I'm going to talk about or review or critique uh, the resume shared as a part of a resume review service. Now, I'm going to share a few things which you may or may not agree, so do what you feel comfortable with. Now, the profile was basically on shared like this a resume, and this is for AWS jobs are related profile, but it could be Azure, Google, same or Oracle or any other cloud or DevOps. The concepts which I'm going to cover will be helpful and applicable for you. But before we move forward, make sure you have gone through this document which talks about how to search for the job sites, find jobs, prepare your resume or CV, and prepare for as um, interview using ChatGPT. Now, also the sub, the title might change slightly or things, but it's uh, basically it's the main document that talks about how to prepare and do all those things because majority of things are already have covered, but I've seen people repeating the same mistake again and again. So I thought probably I'll remind again here. Next is with that you also have a 43 minute video. It might change in future, but. Uh, it will be zero one how to get help and prepare for job interview so make sure that you watch that carefully before you come now other thing is before you send us a review for a resume a couple of things i've repeated multiple times but let me repeat one more time what you need to do uh, when you go send your resume for review make sure you don't send just a resume make sure you send it with the corresponding job description because uh, each job each resume must be changed as per the job description. And I'm not asking you to fake it or lie or, or, or misrepresent something, but make sure you highlight things that you have done with respect to job description. In this particular case, uh, that has not happened. And that's why I'm, I want to highlight one more time. Also make sure you go through, especially uh, what to do if you're not getting interview calls in what manner, what method you need to use or what there's a format and if you're not once you get it start getting interview calls if you're not able to clear interview what needs to be done so this is basically the document which i've mentioned here and uh, we go straight away and say make sure you forward us uh, the corresponding job description and the resume before it comes and drop an email to support at ketonacademy.com so that you get the ticket number we get the ticket number and you can make us accountable now in this case it has come but the first particular case is there is no corresponding job description so giving feedback or, or critique on that won't make much sense but i'll give you a couple of findings on that that will also help now first of all it says about business analyst now um, the profile or work you might be doing might be technical role maybe cloud engineer cloud devops cloud um, architect cloud uh, support and it could be a, a cloud business analyst or whatever you want to do now, first thing is, first thing I read is my background is in civil engineering. It should not be because it's an IT job. Civil engineering may not be applicable. So maybe I'll skip that, but I wouldn't select that. And again, it says postgraduate diploma in banking and finance and master of MBA. Unless I'm doing a job which is related to MBA, I would skip and I'll remove and I will change completely this as per the judge GPT. So this whole thing will be changed in my view, first of all. Now, second thing is profession it talks about is 2016 to uh, 17. It's in other way, which is like uh, the oldest is top and the the newest or, uh, or the, it should be on a chronological order where the latest should be on the top. That's very important. So it's other way. So we need to change that. Now, also, it talks about civil engineer. It talks nothing about what we are doing in IT related. So we need to be changed completely. Similarly, it talks about here banking that also needs to be changed uh, 2018 to 2022 i'll explain you we can keep it i'll come back on this resume uh, uh, for, but before that let me go back to the linkedin profile so let's go back on the linkedin profile or this linkedin profile so if i go and look at um, there's a separate video talks about how to have your linkedin profile and then backend image which have given which grabs attention of someone who's looking at the LinkedIn profile, that type, that graphic should be changed. How to do that and I think how to do using Canva, we have given that or we'll, we'll create some uh, art background image which attracts maybe cloud or, or, or something which I'll cover in a separate LinkedIn page. Now, the, there should be a clear headshot I can connect. It's important that's missing. Now, Amazon Web Service, which is good, which good, but maybe say cloud role what you're doing and again what kind of things you're seeking again the title image so it looks like uh, the person here and again i don't know to point pinpoint here but this is just to give a feedback on um that that needs to be changed here 
now open to work which is good uh, business uh, uh, student I wouldn't call them I wouldn't write as a student it will don't look nice to me as well so I would say and then it says AWS engineer which is good AWS architect cloud engineer and uh, cloud architect roles I would also write something like DevOps related or AWS DevOps related and I'm not going to specify just AWS I would write and say cloud engineer roles and then in bracket you can write cloud and then write AWS similarly cloud architect then bracket AWS cloud engineer is good cloud architect is fine cloud DevOps and then I would write other things which I'll explain here as well. Now, this is again, um, this is also good here written AWS engineer, and I would, this is also good. Now, with that, it's doing business and student, uh, which is fine, you can write it. I wouldn't write it again. Are you working? Are you studying? That basically conflicts. Now, here, bank, okay, this is where it could be controversial. Some people may not like it, uh, but if I'm in place, I would also change that maybe doing some cloud implementation or maybe some IT related job rather than assistant manager in that. Now, as I said, when come now, so the first question comes to attention is, or they might ask and say, again, I wouldn't recommend that, but I've seen some people doing it. But but if it's coming at a situation, two years experience should be more than enough uh, on here. So I think this should alone be enough. Uh, but then if you want to change, um, don't need, you don't need to shout about uh, being assistant manager you can write something which could be neutral which could be something related to tech something related to it where you're going into here or maybe even a business analyst or something like that senior business or something like that the way you have done bottom here as well so that's few things from a linkedin profile point of view now coming back to the job description i think this needs to be changed completely um look at the job description so what i'm going to do is i think it's the person is from canada so let's go and look at the canada jobs i'm going to search for here jobs on canada and i'll search for aws and look at canada again I have, there's a separate video that talks about how to look for a specific jobs in a specific country so this is i would write i would pick about remote aws certified cloud practitioner tutor which is a teacher which is a good i might pick that and say this is something i can do so they're looking for tutors, um, students looking for. So this is, again, I would pick that one, one of those. Again, I would put AWS Cloud Engineer. So this is where I would apply for this job, AWS Cloud. This is a senior role. So I might look for a junior and see if there is any junior role in it related to this. So scroll down. Experience leader level, you can filter it and you select entry level, internship associate. And these are the show four results. And I would then apply on these four four type of job that's one part of this looking for a job so for example these uh, AWS cloud engineer so if I click on this and and so in my resume I will look at having experience in AWS lending zone organization service now what is lending zone what is uh, OU if you're not sure ask team they will update or they will help similarly all those things which i've done here which i've written right profile first page should talk about and say i have a good understanding of these these all these services i've implemented this 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 i've done these roles and responsibilities and so on and learn and do implement something so uh, this resume is a big no it needs to be changed completely and again this is just an one reference of what you should or shouldn't be doing now i'm happy to review this critique again uh, for this individual, I'll probably might hide some of the uh, screens so that it doesn't. So for this, I'm going to pick this and share it for now. And then we'll refine and hide personal identity so that it doesn't reveal anyone's personal details. Um, I hope that makes sense. And uh, yeah, uh, so redo the whole thing. Make sure you go through this, um, how to prepare resume, what to write in the resume and based on the job description and modify that. With that, this is Atul. If you have any questions, make sure you go through this uh, 43 minute video. Make sure you go through, I'm constantly updating at the bottom how to find jobs with respect to the profile that you're doing um, as well. Um, so also make sure that you start posting the content, regular content, the work we have done. I've given you some samples, but again, we will have a separate module about LinkedIn. That's where we're going to post and go more. Um, so with that, thanks uh, for, uh, for asking this feedback. And yeah, let's update and let's go get, uh, let's work on it. Thank you. Thanks and bye for now.